Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, again, I am KLM 1187. Uh, thank you again for everyone who donated to um, switch this run to Buster only. I am super excited and absolutely terrified. So uh, <laughs> let's, uh, we'll get into it. I'll just uh, introduce the couch really quick. Uh, so we'll start in the end here. This is uh, It's Me, Alex. I am Tubes X. Mr. Cab. Mr. Cab. Yeah. Nice to see you again. I like, I like Mega Man. What can I say? <laughs> Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get into it here. I'll do a little countdown and we'll, uh, we'll, uh, let's get it started. So uh, we can start the timer in uh, three, two, one, and go. All right. Gemini first. Gemini first, yeah. So in Buster Only, there's no real particular order that you have to do really any of the stages in. The um, reason why I start Gemini first is it's arguably the hardest stage of the Robot Masters. Um, we also get an E-Tank here, just in case you need it, but we're going to hopefully not use an E-Tank until we get to the dock robot, so. Um, a lot of, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Gemini is very traditionally one of the hardest stages in this whole run. Lots of jumps, lots of enemies everywhere, and uh, the recurring theme we're going to have in this run, Mega Man 3, is very laggy. So anytime there's a lot of things on the screen, it slows down and it makes things a little interesting. Right there, there's supposed to be a little cutscene with Proto Man, but we slid through a screen trigger, jumped through the supposedly solid base cover, and um, the music just stopped playing. Yeah, we unfortunately missed one of the only zips in the run, so I don't get to see that, unfortunately. We're good, we're good. So yes, with this uh, ominous silence, the NES doesn't have to play music, the game's running faster. We reduce lag by getting rid of music. I'm sorry, because Gemini Man's music is actually pretty good. It is really good, it is unfortunate, but... So because we skipped the cutscene, we get these little uh, mashed up uh, sprite here. That looks perfectly normal. Yeah. That's fine. And, uh, unfortunately, we... Uh, Everyone close your eyes. Uh, what? We, we, this is Buster only, but there are some things we just can't do without our best friend, Rush. We have to make the call. Just gotta pet that dog. So, gang three. Oop. I'm just gonna, you know... We're just gonna do a little bit of that. There we go. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Nothing on here. Uh, we're just gonna, you know. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. <laughs> Perfect. That's actually, it's actually really hard, so give Dale a hand there. I shouldn't, uh, you know, I, I remember back in the day, Colonel Fatso, great speedrunner of uh, Mega Man, this game told me never to talk during that screen. So <laughs> I'll never forget that. That's, that's good advice. <laughs> yeah, you can only slot. If you do slide, you're committed to it for eight frames where you can jump again, but here's Gemini Man. One of the old, normal any percent routes was Gemini Man first, so this fight should be familiar to a lot of us. Every time you shoot, Gemini Man shoots. There's two of them, so just keep shooting them. Once there we get into phase two, he jumps pretty much every time you shoot, so some well-timed shots here. There is a much faster way to do that fight, but um, yeah, we're just going to... No easy to do it there, yeah. Mr. Cardi B, do you have anything for us? I absolutely do. We've got... A <laughs> this is a fifty dollar donation from Kaylee. The next best time of the year. Let's keep it going with some Silent Hill Two. Want to keep you updated on that Silent Hill Two incentive? We are eight thousand dollars in. Y'all can get those donations in, and we will be good to go for some Silent Hill Two by Ecdysis. Nice, nice. Let's get Silent Hill in here. So the next Tuesday, we'll do Shadow Man next, um, and then we'll do Needle afterwards. Uh, spoiler alert. Uh, the, the reason being is that it's arguably, again, like uh, two of the hardest Buster-only fights in the Robot Masters, so you just do them early just to get them out of the way, more for like reset purposes when you're doing attempts. Who's this guy? One of our many Breakman, Proto-Man fights during the run, teaching us to use the slide. Use the slide. And this is, uh, I think this is the lag room? Yeah. The dark room in Shadow Man stage just has a lot of stuff going on. And anytime the screen goes dark, it does slows down a lot. And the movement here, you kind of have to know where you're going in the dark. If you do, it looks beautiful. Caleb's crushing it. Just a little more stage here, and we're going to get to the infamous parachute section. Enemies dropping down from the ceiling. Yeah, well, fully fine. <laughs> enough in Buster only, it's actually a little uh, less scary. Except when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody saw that. You're Earth good. Myself. Uh, when, the, yeah, when that guy, those, they have different spawn heights, and when you get that low one, uh, especially when I'm planning on like sliding under that guy, uh, it can cause a bit of a, a bit of an issue. But it's okay. You know, we're still here. We're doing it. There we go. That's much better. 
Yeah. We're ahead of schedule anyway, so yeah, slow things the, down a little bit. Yeah, you know. Why rush it along? It's such a great event, you know. Just enjoy ourselves. <laughs> we wanted the health refill. We're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so coming into the Shadow Man fight, um, he's going to jump two times, and then he's uh, going to either do a slide attack or he's going to shoot Shadow Blades at us. Uh, his slide actually does the most damage, so but we actually want him to slide. It's actually a little faster if he's going to slide. I don't want to get hit by him continuously, though. <laughs> Yeah, we actually didn't know which of these attacks did the most damage until yesterday in the practice room. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't remember off the top of my head, but yeah, there you go. But, yeah. Make that look easy, man. We want to try to finish each fight of the Robot Masters towards the center of the screen, because if you see there, you have to wait till Mega Man gets to the middle of the screen in order to start the closing animation. So I'll try to do that the best I can. But. Harry B, if you got anything oh, else for us? Yeah, $30 from Apollo. I came hey. all the way to GDQ to seek this KLM Mega Man 3 run. Good luck, friend. This donation goes towards a pre-order to see KLM run Super Pitfall in the next event. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of Pitfall fans out here today. Oh, yeah. I think at this point, the entire Super Pitfall community is uh, live here today. <laughs> Mostly. Uh, and here's this first screen in Needles, very mash heavy, so... Uh, that's the, uh, the best you yep. can see it. Uh, we're, we're starting to get into stages that we're... Well, honestly, even Shadow, we're used to having special weapons out for it. Uh, Needleman stage, just a lot of mashing if we don't have Gemini and Magnet at our disposal. Nothing you can't handle. Ooh, beat the fly. We uh, lovingly call this stage Friedel sometimes because it is yeah. actually the shortest of the first eight Robot Masters. Spoilers, there's more stages after that, and one might be Needle and be pretty long. <laughs> oh, yeah. No problems here, just some more Joes. I'm gonna try to just damage boost through this guy, see if I can make it, okay. <laughs> shoot this guy down. This guy I like to shoot down too, just because it is a little slower, but this guy does a ton of damage and I need as much health as I can get for Needleman, so. Yeah, a lot of Robot Masters in this game don't really take a lot of damage from the Buster and they have kind of erratic movement. And here's Needle. Yeah, he may show us some erratic movement here. Sometimes he likes to jump high and uh, you just can't, you can't shoot him. And that uh, head spike does a bit of damage, so we want to make sure our spacing's correct. Yep. So I'll try to stay like this distance from him the majority of the fight. There you go. He, That's what you want to see. Yeah. But if he shoots at us, it's just a little slower, but, you know. You just got to juke him. You got this. Uh, come down. Thank you. One more <laughs> high jump to troll us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. We got Rush Jet and Rush Marine now. That means we're, we're good, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Can't wait to see all these weapons. Wow. They're off. They're really cool. This game has uh, really awesome weapons, uh, but, you know, unfortunately, we're not going to see any of them. Well, that's not entirely mm. true, but <clears throat> we'll save that surprise for later. <laughs> On to top, man. So this stage is going to be pretty much exactly the same as the any percent route uh, since uh, the... I would say the main starting route would be top first, so. Yeah, a few years ago, the any percent record started going with top man first because top man is actually weak to the buster. He'll take two points of damage from it instead of one. So a lot of players will be pretty comfortable in this stage buster only. Yeah. Got some pretty uh, pretty mash heavy uh, sections in the stage though, like okay. yeah. little mini bosses. Yeah. Some of my friends would say these uh, Met Dozers debatably have hitboxes. Yeah. They, they <laughs> Mystery box. reportedly yeah. exist. Somehow we found them. Hey, we got a cat. Oh, yeah, hey, continue cats. the cat theme yeah. for today. Yeah, here we go. Hey. Does that count as petting the yeah, cat? Shout yeah, shout out to cats. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, the cats in this stage, I think, have nine hit points, so they're really mash heavy. Nice. nice. Two jumps. Two jumps. That's ruining the game right here. Ugh. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Are we going for the crazy jump? No. No? You know, I kind of talked myself into trying it, but since I already died once, I think we're just going to, you know. All right. Just going to take our time. There are some strats here to go for that jump immediately, and I think a pause buffer is even involved, <clears throat> but it's a, it's a little risky. 
All right, as the top man, so as Cap is saying, uh, he takes two damage per buster shot. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a this little dance here, take some intentional damage. and Oh, oh okay. okay. Got him. Yeah. A little bit of suspense. <laughs> I think we got time for uh, cartridge blowers. Have you got any more donations for us? Oh, we got a lot of them coming in. Uh, we've got $25 from Schmarcus. Hey. Shout out to KLM and the couch. Love this tradition. Good luck on the run and stay warm. Thank you, Schmarcus. We're trying. Anywhere else. You got one more? Yeah. yeah. $10 donation from Liquid Schwartz. Always got to donate during the Mega Man block, especially for Buster only runs. Good luck to KLM and the rest of the runners this week. Thank you, thank you. Best music. Yeah, this is this is almost universally everyone's favorite music in the game, um, which you know, Good understandably choice. so. I'm gonna try. Uh, there is another uh, set of zips you can do in this stage for the mini bosses. I'm gonna try to get this first one just so I can show it off. Uh, so hopefully it's not a complete disaster. Come on, get in there. <laughs> it's uh, so it's basically like a six frame there window. Yeah. Yeah. First it's, try, first <laughs> try every time. It's a six frame window to get up there. I'm actually gonna do this too. I'm sorry. Oh, you're <laughs> good. Everyone, close your eyes. Uh, <laughs> it's a six frame window to get that slide through there to skip that mini boss. Um, if you watch the, uh, you know, if you watch the world record, uh, gets through there pretty instantaneously. It's quite impressive. Uh, but I want to at least just show it off and you guys can see it there. We don't have access to the other option there of using Rush Jet. We're playing Buster only. We don't need Rush Jet. We don't need Rush Jet. Listen, we'll see plenty of Rush in the next run. So true. Uh, if you, any Rush fans out there, don't be, don't be discouraged. So this guy I'm just going to shoot down here. More Giant Snake. He takes 10 shots. You can only have three shots on the screen at a time. Uh, and uh, pretty much most Mega Man games, if I'm not mistaken, so. So it's funny, in the any percent run, the, the second half of the screen, if you're not doing the crazy strats, it, it's pretty easy, you just kind of fly over it, but in the Buster only run, it's actually quite terrifying, so. Yeah, the any percent has a lot of rush abuse. <laughs> yeah, just a lot of difficult strats here, if you want to optimize things, getting under these uh, just cloud bullets. You can do really short hops underneath some of them. Yeah, and these cloud but platforms, when they pop up, they can actually just push you off and into the pit. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do this, and we're good. There we go. Look great in there. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my favorite fights. It's just a, it's it's it looks cool, and uh, you know, depending on what Snake Man's gonna do, but it's a lot of fun to do too, as long as you don't touch them. Yeah, just this little dance back and forth. Depending on if he's shooting, I'm, I'm shooting one shot at a time just to really reduce the amount of lag, because you can see when he shoots his two snakes there, it generates quite a bit of lag there, so... Oh, please stop shooting at me. All right, we should be, I'm going to finish right up top here. There we nice. go. Nice. Centered. <laughs> Fight Snake Man's usually like kind of hard if you when you're first learning this game, just figuring out how to dodge everything he does. And yeah, yeah, <clears throat> easy fight. Preview of Worm Man right there too. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, we can hit another donation if you got one. Absolutely, fifty dollars from S at Games. When I had the choice to get Mega Man Two, I chose The Simpsons, Bart versus the Space Mutants instead. <laughs> a terrible mistake I did not make again with Mega Man Three being the first to call my own. Nice. So seeing this at GDQ is very special to me. Good luck, KLM, and everyone else at GDQ. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know. I've seen some good Space Alien speedruns out there. I was gonna say, actually, you know, I enjoy that game as well. <laughs> <laughs> right, we got our second encounter with Proto uh, Man here. Or sometimes we call him Red Guy. Nice fight. Red is dead. <laughs> so again, this uh, um, Magnet First is another viable starting route in the Any% percent run. So uh, again, a lot of the, uh, you know, doing the stage buster only is pretty, uh, pretty comfortable for most runners of the game. Only difference being here is I don't have Rush Jet to fly over everyone's favorite, uh, the Yoku Blocks. 
This is the main reason top first became the preferred route, so you'd have rush jet here. The blocks aren't even really that hard. It's just time consuming just to stand slow. here. Yeah. Jump always terrifies me, even though I've never died there. I'm like. really glad you made that jump after I said it's not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried. <laughs> So Magnet Man himself has really two attacks. He just jumps across the room and either tries to attract Mega Man with magnetic force or fires his magnet missiles. Again, he also takes two points of damage from the Buster. KLM's going to jump over his head to kind of trick the game into saying, oh, Mega Man's at the same uh, X coordinate. I must have hit him. Stop doing that. Speed up the fight a little bit. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. That's good <laughs> nice fight. Thank you. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the comfy part of the run, so to speak, <laughs> if there is one, because uh, after the eight robos, we'll get into the dock robot stages, where at that point I'll be absolutely terrified. So, nah, uh, you got this. You got this. <laughs> Quick donation? Yeah, go, go for, for it. it. Sure. Uh, Fifty-two dollars from Dustin. My aunt Ann passed away at the young age of fifty-two after a long, hard battle with cancer this past November. This fifty-two dollar donation is for her and everyone else fighting their own battles. Best of luck to KLM. Hyped for this Buster only run of Mega Man 3. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we see here these bees coming on screen here. Uh, KLM was sliding back to the left to kind of despawn them so we don't have to deal with them. Um, you know, because bees are like birds, they're not our friends. Yeah. Except for later in the game, you might get a little surprise. Yeah, yeah. We may have to befriend a, a bee or two later. All right, everyone close their eyes again. Huh? Yeah, make the call. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Screen went black there for a second. Oh. Let's get the, 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 yeah, so the funny thing about like, doing these Buster only challenge runs in Mega Man uh, the classic Mega Man games, anyways, is that um, there's only two of them that you can actually do true Buster only without using anything at all. And that would be 10 and 11. Um, yeah, most other games, that. you need to eventually use something. But uh, it's fun. We all have a lot of fun with these challenge runs. Yeah. Few more is our, uh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to just pepper in a few extra shots because of those uh, sometimes non-existent hitboxes on those guys. Yeah. I love Quick lag frame on that screen. One more situation where we get to say, not the bees. <laughs> not the bees. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there we there go. There yeah. we go. <laughs> this is our third and final encounter with Proto Man for now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we got a hard man. of master on that one. Uh oh. So is this boss easy? Uh, <laughs> it's kind of hard, man. Oh, wow. Especially <laughs> with this health now, I'm a little worried. <laughs> try to avoid some damage here. You can get six, uh, six shots in per cycle here. I missed one there. There we go. Now seeing all of Hard Man's attacks. Yeah. All right, we're, we're getting it's getting a little dicey here, but I think we should be all right. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> all right, so we got one more stage in the eight robos before we get to the uh, the real. Uh, Struggle with Mega Man 3 in an 80% and Buster only. So, uh, yeah, if you got another donation, you can go ahead and pop in there. I got a good one for you here. This is from Super Jamoose, who donates $50. Hey. Drawn like a magnet out of the shadow to make this donation for a top cause and to push that needle a little closer to 150K. Stay determined, maintain that this? spark. Don't let confidence slip away like a snake. Shine like Gemini in the winter sky and show that even with Buster only, this isn't too hard, man. You got this, KLM. <laughs> Cheers from Canada. Thank you, Jamus. Uh, Love it. As a yeah, as a fan of uh, you know, awesome puns and dad jokes here myself and Mr. Cap here. It was a they only give you strength. Keep them coming. <laughs> Sparkman is eighth. I'd love to say it's because we don't need Spark Shot, although it's also because we don't need Spark Shot. <laughs> it's too bad. It's a real cool weapon. 
it's, it's kind of neat, but it doesn't do any damage. Not the most useful speedrun weapon. But uh, we just get to go through this stage. Fortunately, it's it's not bad buster only. I think most of the things we do with it is just go slightly faster with weapons. Yeah. It's not that much easier, per se. Um. Especially this last screen. I'm going to jinx everything all over again. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. It's <laughs> definitely one of the screens where the speedrun strat's actually easier than a lot of the yeah. sort of non-speedrun strats. Definitely. It looks terrifying, it's but I, I, it's I, actually I, really easy to do. I've, I've actually never died on that screen before. Just Never. jump and slide, that's all. I guess we're through the screen, so now you just have to <laughs> not reset. Yeah. Uh, Sparkman can be kind of a pain, because he can. there's four different positions where he can end up. Some of them really make it hard to get damage into him. Like, OK, good. That last one is not ideal. OK, that one's not that great either. I'm just going to uh, I probably could have stood in there and took damage and got the last few hits in, but. That's nice. Top platform, too. Got the top platform, yeah. <clears throat> That's eight robots. We did it, That's right? It. We're, we're, we did it? Yeah, we did it. Good job. Thanks. Got time for a couple more donations yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, $20 from Packet. So glad I could catch the best Mega Man game. Yeah, yeah. Fun fact, in the Archie comics, Proto Man smashes his Breakman helmet into a wall, and it shatters into the perfectly rounded sunglasses of his iconic look because he's just that cool. Thanks, KLM, for sharing and running this <laughs> undisputed classic. Nice, thank you. Question mark, man. Question mark, man. <laughs> Sweet. We said Doc Needle earlier might be uh, one of the longer stages in the run, so uh, here we go. Yeah. So the Mega Man 3 run, you, we do get to go through four of the Robot Master stages again in sort of kind of a, a remix version of them, which is a lot harder and with a couple of old friends involved. Yes, unfortunately, it's also the biggest violator of this category. I'm actually just going to switch here just to keep it as true blue as we can. There are a lot of sections of these stages where we must call on Rush. The letters are just too high. There's other obstacles in the way. That, that's, that's fine. We'll just keep Rush around. Boss door. That was quick. Mm -hmm. I thought you said this was long, Steve. I, I, I think it is. <laughs> We get the Doc Robots here. Uh, see, this is Airman from Mega Airman. Man 2. What's he doing here? Can't beat Airman. Uh, Airman, just like Mega Man 2, fires the air shooter. Lots of tornadoes in our way. It's a little hard to get to him. But we have the slide now, so it's almost easier to dodge some of it. So the thing about the, uh, there's going to be another, uh, spoiler, another um, Doc Robot fight here at the end of the stage. Both of these Doc Robot Masters actually take two damage from the Buster too, which is very nice. I believe the rest of them only take one. Oof. I didn't know the damage table for it. So again, everyone, uh, you know, don't look. Uh, this, nothing's, nothing's happening right now. We're just, uh, he's off the screen enough, he can't see what, he's, what yeah, color he's yeah, up there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's actually Mega Man or not. He's true blue up there. Looks like it's just Rush. Sure. It's, just, it's just Rush. It's, like, it's a cutscene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping off the top of the screen uh, both saves some of our Rush Jet energy. It also reduces lag with Mega Man off the screen, but we're done with that now. Back to using the Buster. Giant yeah, Mets. Let's go Mets. Let's go Mets. <laughs> I'm required to say that once a run. It's, I'm sorry. Okay. One more before Ooh, we get we to the end. We got the mystery hitbox. It doesn't yeah. do any damage. I'm just going to let this guy kind of do his thing and let him have his time in the, in the spotlight there. I love that mystery hitbox that just floats out there. And yeah. You get hit for nothing. I right. believe this is Doc Crash. Yes, it is. Let's go. So he'll jump and shoot, uh, or attempt to shoot every time I shoot at him. Um, so I'm going to try to use that to my advantage and not get hit like every time like I am so far. <laughs> but again, he also takes uh, two damage per buster shot. So I do have a slight advantage in this fight here. I just have to actually hit him. Uh, uh, yeah, OK. There you go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> You got him. <laughs> All right, so this is Doc Spark. Um, this is a uh, 
<laughs> an it's interesting trick. Uh, there's an enemy on a ladder in a very narrow passageway coming up that is kind of tricky to get around, but I think we're going to manage it. I'm going to try it a few times. So there is a way to get through this guy here without using any weapons. Uh, I'm going to try it a couple times, but for the sake of the marathon, if I don't get it within the first couple tries, I'm just going to move on. Yeah, see, this is like... I think you were saying this in the practice room the other day. Sometimes you, you either get it first try or it just doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, hopefully I'll be, I can get it here. But if not, I'll, we'll use a weapon, but it'll be kind of cool anyway. So I don't know if that's going to make it. Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> Real quick, KLM, can I break in for just one second? Yeah, go for it. We have reached $150,000. Let's go. go. Thank you, everybody, for your generous donations. That was amazing. Some more of these little missile uh -oh. launching robots. That's actually a really bad hit there. We're, we're good. <clears throat> so on the other side of this door is Doc Metal. Metal Man, just like Mega Man 2, likes to jump up and down on the right side of the room, throw metal blades at us. We'll be fine. a little bit slower since I have less health than I normally would like to. Especially since because I don't really want to do it. Oh, I, I, I have an E-Tank. I can use it if I need to, but I would really prefer not to. I think, I don't know if I have another hit or not. I, I don't think you do. I E-Tank here, unfortunately, but... These uh, boss corridors exist, but they're not actually checkpoints at this point in the game. Uh, KLM really does want to hang on to that E-Tank as long as he can, but we got to get past Metal Man. Yeah, yeah, because the checkpoint here, yeah, because Aiden is like, oh, crap. Ooh. We started talking too much. <laughs> I started talking too much. I'm yeah, sorry. That, that's my fault. Oh, okay. By the way, the checkpoint is all the way at the bottom of that yeah, spike Yeah, at the bottom shot. of that screen. Yeah, <laughs> just so I can, uh, you know, show you guys that really quick, so. Uh, it's all right. We got this. Right, we we'll got fine. this. We'll Do you want to try this again? Or, hey, well, let's show you what the other strat is here, actually. So you just use the hard knuckle there, take a little little hit there. It's pretty cool. We didn't That's kill the enemy. It's all right. Tired monkey strat. Yeah, it's a nice little pacifist strat. The uh, intended solution there is to just break out Gemini laser and bounce it off the wall. But yeah. th then we're killing an enemy without the buster. We want to avoid that for the sake of the challenge. Yeah. Probably one of the worst deaths you can take in the run, honestly. But, you know. We're good. That's all right. We're fine. Actually, how many lives do I have? Three? Okay. <clears throat> uh, this is Doc Metal again. Uh, Welcome <laughs> back to Doc Metal. <laughs> the Revenge. <laughs> At least we don't have the conveyor belt like Mega Man 2. It makes this a little easier to deal with. Yeah. first time. Mm -hmm. All right. Easy fight. Oh, okay. yeah. right. No music cancel this <laughs> time. Right, let's pay attention here. <laughs> uh, let's make sure we get far enough go. over. Hey, there we go. Don't touch anything. All right, there, we're at the hey. checkpoint. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so there are these uh, kind of electric beam obstacles in this room. We just kind of let them bounce off the screen, start going right, they go off the screen, they never spawn again. Not only makes it safer, it reduces lag. Usually these uh, giant garbage blocks generate lots of lag. You want to destroy them. It's a lot easier to do without the buster, but KLM is good at this game, so <laughs> there you go. No, I unfortunately don't have enough health to do this fight here, so I'm going to take a quick death here again. Um... No, that's a good idea. Doc Quick, uh, the boomerangs that he throws, does only two points of damage. But if you get bodied by him, if he contact damage is eight. Yeah. Mega Man only has, I think it's 28 hit points. Yeah. So, so uh, it's, it's, it's essentially a third of your health, yeah. Yeah. So. It's probably the second hardest fight in the run, I would say. Especially when he does that short hop. I don't like when he does that. But... Just, I'm going to try to take damage from the boomerangs, use my iframes to let him just kind of 
pass through me. That is the usual strat in this fight. Yeah, get away. It's fine, as long as, we, yeah. as, long as we're at it. Yeah, 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 we go, we go. Nice fight. <laughs> Gemini. This is Doc Gemini, yeah. <clears throat> so just like its predecessor, I mean, Doc Gemini is one of the hardest stages um, to get through. Uh, just do the again, just the sliding the enemies. Like the first screen just has a lot more pits in it, and it's otherwise pretty much the same. Yeah. Like the rhythm obviously is very different, but like the idea of the obstacle here is the same, which is yeah. just really hard. I kind of want to grab that. Thanks. You like those? Thanks, game. All right. That was not the best screen, but, uh, you know. We, we made it. We made it through. Sometimes that's all that matters. So more of the... To, um, yeah, you can have uh, only three of the tadpoles on the screen at a time. There's a strat to, like, uh, kind of mitigate them from showing up, but I'm, I'm actually kind of looking for a health drop at this point. Uh, hey, there, there we go. go. That's good. Uh, the top route here is a little faster. You go up top and shoot some of these guys to reduce some of the lag, but I've actually never learned that, so we're just gonna, oh, you're just gonna do it like that. <laughs> Flash ran first. This is Doc Flash, yeah. Uh, this play is a lot of fun. Um, so we're also playing this game, actually, Rock Band 3 on the Famicom Japanese cartridge. Uh, one of the few version differences between this and the North American release is that uh, Flashman here, the flash is very fast. It just kind of fires one shot. If you're playing this on your US cart, the game is going to flash for closer to a full second, have a whole spray of bullets. Uh, fight's a little different here, just a lot easier. Okay. <clears throat> We're back at three health, okay. One more tall platform we can't jump with just making Yeah, it. and I'm actually going to just take a quick detour. I'm going to see if there's any secrets down. No, no, no. no? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> you tried. Okay. <laughs> no, I actually want to take a death there to reset my health because this next section coming up uh, uh, is, actually, I guess, the intended thing was to use Rush Marine here, but we can't do that. So we're going to have to just do some damage boosting, sliding over spikes using our iframes. You know. Or Rush Marine. One day. Nice. The usual thing there too is Mega Man flashing from invincibility tends to keep going just a little bit longer than he's, a little less than he's actually invincible. Yeah. Sometimes you see Mega Man not flashing, standing on spikes, and it's, yeah, oh no! Yeah. Oh. oh, that's nice. Nice. Love that. Uh, okay. Oh. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. right. Ladders, Ladders yeah. are a thing in this, in this game, in this series. In Pixels game. exist. <laughs> Well, I was going to say I was going to try to do the Bubble Man fight with the health that I was at, but now I'm, I'm actually feeling pretty good about it, so... You try with this health, too. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, I'll try with this health, too. <laughs> I, I, I won't stop it. you. <laughs> so we're just kind of just... Staying in there, taking damage. On this side, I'm just going to do this to jump over his bullet to try to take less damage. Three bubbles, all of the leg. It's one of the, this is one of the more just uninspired fights in the Buster only round, honestly, but. He's got to do it. It's just there, yeah. But uh, alternatively to that, now we're getting into, this is going to be the toughest fight in the whole run here, Doc Wood. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> let's hope for the best here. Nice cancel. Very nice. So there's a bug in Mega Man 3 where if you get killed by the spikes on the exact same frame you are doing a screen transition, it plays the death animation, but Mega Man doesn't die. This cancels the music, and as we went over earlier, music causes lag. Yeah. So uh, this screen runs a lot faster now because we gave the NES processor less to do, but this screen, the dark screen again, has these platforms that just drop Mega Man off. We're in the dark. You got this. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> I'm in a silence now, but we got Woodman coming up, so we're going to get music back pretty soon. Yeah. <clears throat> so, 
I always say this fight in the Buster Conley, it's, it, this is more, this fight is more survival than speed, so, um, because everything he does for the most part does a ton of damage, so, and you can only hit him when his shield is not active, so I'm going to try to just avoid as much damage as I can take while doing as much damage as I can do. So that was pretty good. Was so far, cycle. so far so good. And this fight is, like I said, it's almost required to use an E-Tank for this fight. Um, I've only done it without an E-Tank a handful of times. So which is why, you know, yeah, so like, I'm gonna definitely have to use one here. That's our last one, so, you know. There are a couple more E-Tanks uh, scattered around the run as we go, but a lot of them require a okay. rush to get to. So uh, that was it. How many lives do I have? Two. Okay, that's good. We're good. <laughs> I'm just going to mash these guys down. Shout out to Hammer Joes. Oh, God. What the heck was I thinking there? <laughs> I don't think I was. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to. Uh... Again, oof. You got this. For the sake of the marathon and for my own sanity, I'm just gonna, you know, just take my time through here. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. All right. Easy screen. Oof. Hey, uh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, missile. All right. Yep. The final boss doors of the stages are still checkpoints, so we're we're, we're good. <clears throat> you got heat, man. Who's Doc Heat? Um, so it's intended. You can only get one hit per per cycle with him. Um, but if you hit him on the same frame that he becomes active, just like that, you can get two hits in per cycle. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do. And since I, the amount of health I have, I'm going to keep as much distance as I can. You can make this fight faster by uh, shortening the distance that it takes him to dash at you, but... Less reaction time, then. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of double hits in, so this is good. Let's see if we can get a double to end it. Hey, there we go. Hey, hey, nice. I wasn't scared. No, I mean, either. it's a good <laughs> thing we don't have hot rate, hard heart rate monitors up here. Oh my god, my oh, man. The we don't need any that. <laughs> Breakman. Uh -oh. One more Breakman fight. Here we go. Are we splitting? Oh, no split. No break. No split. Cartridge blurs. Go for it. <laughs> I've got you, friend. We've got a uh, fifty. Uh, sorry, one hundred dollar donation from Armajan. Nothing says winter storm like a good healthy dose of Silent Hill Two. Bring on the fog. We are ten thousand dollars into that incentive. Just thirty thousand away. Chat, friends at home, I know we can meet that incentive ASAP. Thank you so much for your donations. We've got $25 from Casey. I'm a mega fan of this run. <laughs> Thanks, Casey. Appreciate that one. And let's go with uh, one more. I, uh, $50 from Oyster. Mega Man is my jam. I cannot believe that KLM's hands are still in shape to match like that. <laughs> Huge props for hand care, and it's always nice to see Cab. Weather messed up my travel plans, but I hope to see you all soon. I, I'm, you know, I'm glad that someone mentioned it because, yeah, there, you know, not only is the run just technically hard, but it's also physically demanding. Um, my hands are, are are not in good shape after grinding this game and category. So. <laughs> Getting all these buzzer shots off can be a little uh, annoying sometimes, but we got this. Let's do a little reverse damage boost there. I'm gonna shoot these guys down. Oops. That hammer Joe had other ideas. So there's a little strat you can do here to kind of avoid using, like, uh, you know, keep it again as true blue as possible. Let me see if I can get it once here. Hey, there we there go. There we go. Hey. All right, cool. <laughs> it's not required to do that, but you know, that makes up for all of the rush abuse. There we go. And I, I have never missed breaks. that jump in my life, and I never will. Shout out to Toxic Comic thing. And they get a little wee. <laughs> all right, you want to talk about this guy? Yeah. Kame Goro, maybe? I think I got the turtle <laughs> machine's name. Yeah. Uh, there are five turtles. That's the actual part of the boss's life meter we're going after. And uh, 
you always want to see it go right. That's when you get the shorter pattern. If it goes left, left. Oh. you're wrong, and you get the uh, the longer pattern. The fight's already over though, so that's good. Yeah, yeah, that was that was pretty good. I saw in the beginning of the stage too. I picked up an E tank there. There's a, there's several E tanks to pick up during the Wily stages, which yeah. is. This game is so weird like that, where like the Doc Robot stages are impossible. You have, like you said, there's like four E-Tanks possible, two of them Buster only, and then as soon as you're in Wily stages, it's like the game wants you to have all of the E-Tanks. It really, almost, yeah, it almost like rewards yeah. you for getting through that just brutal section of the game. Here we're going to see some more of our bee friends. Not the bees. Uh, these ones, we don't, we don't like these ones, though. Those, those aren't the bees that we're looking for. Looking for bees. These, however, I think we're gonna we're gonna take. Uh, let's be friends. Let's take a few of these along with us. What's this buzz about being friends with bees? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Couple BFFs there. Thanks for being my friend, guys. Thanks. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to puns. All that to avoid some rush yet, but yeah, Buster only. <laughs> So this is Yellow Devil here, everyone's favorite. Um, if you're familiar with the Any% Route, uh, there is a uh, you know, one-cycle kill, the easy kill you can get. Here, I'm going to try to do a three-cycle kill with the Buster. I don't know if that was enough hits there. Yeah, eight. Was it eight? Okay. I'm going to use an E-Tank now. I'm going to use one anyway, so I might as well use it now before I forget. So you need to get like eight to nine hits in these first two cycles. Ideally nine, but that should be nine. Nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. Yeah. 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 There's a few like Buster only exclusive like you know like speed strats like that one that um, you know I'm, I'm glad to at least have gotten that one. Hey, there's a special room coming up here, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, I've heard things about this room. Uh, yeah, uh, you know. <laughs> For those of you know, I, I was in a uh, Mega Man 3 tournament uh, back in 2017, and uh, during one of the races, I had a very hard time getting through this room. To the point where I honestly felt like I was just going to be stuck there for the rest of my life. Uh, <laughs> so the room has been, uh, you know, just uh, named after me because of that. It's, it's really my only contribution to speedrunning this game is to have a room named after me for completely botching it during a tournament. So it's a but, good reason. Hey, you know, I feel like every veteran of every game eventually gets a part of the game named after them for something exactly <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> so. I'm definitely thinking of all my old Super Mario World friends right now and <laughs> where every pit in some levels has a, a runner's yeah, name so attached to it. Yeah, yeah. There is another little zip you can do here. I don't, uh, we're not going to see it though, but it's there. It's there. <laughs> uh, coming up to the clone fight here. So. Uh, it's always going to spawn. There's three different Mega Man clones. It's always going to spawn on the top first. And that's kind of random. You can do this in one cycle. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Ugh, no. So we're good. looking for where the Beeman is. I think it's the middle. Yeah. Okay. That's the tell. <clears throat> that's the rough one. Yeah, that's the one I got to, like, you know, kind of stretch out and shake it out after that one. <laughs> don't forget to stretch. Mm, yeah. And because again, this is a Mega Man game. Um, we gotta have guts, to, man. We, yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna fight all the robot masters again. Hey, let's see what's in here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there can be an E tank in there. Sometimes an extra life. So you know, we might as well just check it out. Do, do, do we get channel predictions on that? Or <laughs> <laughs> I love these trash uh, trash men enemies. They're one of the best in the game. Hey, we got all three of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you know, you know. Yeah, there we go. All right, so the refights, there's no particular order you have to do them in again, but I'm just going to do kind of just go around like a counterclockwise. Um, it also works out that way to kind of uh, mix in some of the harder fights with some of the easier ones. Since we're not using special weapons, everything's buster only, but we do get a large health drop after every fight, so you want to kind of, as KLM's saying here, get the easier robots Ooh. mixed in so you can get that free health drop. And usually how this fight works out, though, is Snake Man likes to die on the right side of the screen. So let me just let him come in a, come a little closer there. Because the next fight is Needle Man, which is, again, like the hardest one, so I want to make sure I'm at full health here. All 
I found out recently about Needle Man is he was actually, um, he, they used the same base that they used for Air Man to make uh, Needle Man, which you can kind of see when you look at him. Just a little lore, a little, uh, a little nerdy fun Mega fact. Man lore for, for everyone out there. Turn the fan blades into a giant needle helmet? <laughs> yeah. Alright, so he's, uh, he's kind of shooting a decent amount at me here, which is, uh, you know, it's not terribly difficult to avoid it. It's just a lot slower, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's two down. Yeah, it's noise back there. It's our buddy Magnet. Cool thing about these uh, teleporters is, like, if you start shooting before you turn around, uh, you kind of, like, shoot backwards. Oh, okay. You know. Magnet's not being a, a nice guy right now. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> Try, try his best to, to stop this very thing. Yeah. I'm gonna give him a chance. Yeah, plenty of health for Gemini. Plenty of health. Yeah. I do do like a damageless version of this fight myself, so. Let's see if we can do that. Okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Halfway home. Quick on one of those hits there. <laughs> oh, no damage there. That was pretty cool. All right. And top man again takes extra damage from Busters. So we should be in an easy fight here. Yeah, it'll be slightly different because I'm just basically I'm doing a no damage version of that fight. Yeah. <coughs> Got enough health, we're just gonna keep going. Yep, so I'm gonna do Spark before Shadow here. Again, because uh, Shadow is one of the, uh, it's the second hardest of the fight, so I wanna make sure I have enough health, or as much health as I can have. Also, uh, you know, conveniently enough, Shadow Man is located right next to the exit, so. Okay. Of course you would stop there. Sparkman, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more. Get out of here. <laughs> we go. Get me out of here. Let's get, let's get out of here. Yeah, why not? Mega Man 5 reference. There we go. Okay. In my Mega Man 3? <laughs> Not really, but. Um, all right. Uh, we're on the second to last uh, part here. Let's just, you know, let's see what's in here. Hey, look at that. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the Wily machine. There's two phases here. The first phase uh, is going to be a turret underneath that we have to mash down. And then the second phase will be Wily himself uh, up top. But. Mm -hmm. This uh, fight gets weird. Depending on when you kill the turret, will kind of affect the um, kind of the cycle that you get. Uh, yeah, the, the, uh, the attack oh, pattern is kind fast. of paying yeah. attention just to the machine's movement, and it doesn't uh, really stop between phases. So That's sometimes cool. you get an interesting piece of movement. So you can get anywhere from three to six hits is ideal here. I got five in that first cycle, so I'm gonna take damage and try to. Eh, didn't really line up too well there. You got three in. So, you know, use them if you got them. Mm -hmm. So again, the problem here is you can only have three shots on the screen. So we can be either really close and take a lot of damage, or That's we can six. try and fire these shots from way over on the side, hope that the timing works out. That was too early there. Oh boy, yeah, that was a good Sometimes uh, when it doesn't work out, you uh, <laughs> miss entirely. Although yeah, we yeah, got yeah. one. All right, so we got four hits away. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. CF okay. zero strides here. Let's just shoot one long one there. Oh, I missed him. Oh. <laughs> From downtown. That's, yeah, that's what I get. There we go. Okay. Hey. Hey. Oh, we did it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the game. Uh, yeah, that's it, right, Dr. Oh, oh, wait, oh, wait so, what? No, no. Oh, whoa. It was a fake Dr. Wily all along. <laughs> so unfortunately, this is the last fight. Unfortunately, it takes zero damage from the Buster, so uh, you know our Buster-only journey has come to an end. Um, but I will show off a little unique little glitch here from Mega Man that keeps it as Buster-only-ish as possible. So, But not this first phase. It's just We're just going to throw as many Shadow Blades as we can. <clears throat> and time will be on the last hit here. I'm going to switch to Rush Coil. I'm going to turn over here. I'm going to shoot two shots at Rush Coil. Switch to top. And time. Time. Yeah. Yeah, great job. What's the uh, final time on that? I think it really You're looking at 50 minutes and 10 seconds. Ah, uh, you know, Marathon was uh, ahead enough. I figure we can get a little bit overestimate. Yeah. Get we got this. On track. We got this. <laughs> No, uh, but um, oh, it feels good to get that, get that done with Anna. So. <laughs> um, anyways, I just uh, thank you, uh, thank you so much for um, accepting this run for me. This was the Mega Man Three was the first speed run I ever learned back in 20, 2016. It's a, the, the game that got me into speed running. I guess I, I'd be remiss to not shout out um, just a couple of people that fast at CC, the world record holder in both these categories. Huge inspiration for me as well as like Prissy. Colonel Fatso, uh, Darko, all those guys. Uh, um, and um, just a couple other guys I want to shout out to is uh, uh, Great John and um, Kyle Precise, wherever you are. I hope you're watching this live. If not, we catch this sometime soon. He loves this game and this category. It was a huge inspiration for me when I was learning the game. So I hope you're doing well. And uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's it. You guys have any final words? Or... Play more Mega Man. Yeah. Yeah, join us over at MegaManLeaderboards.net. Uh, always looking for new runners. Um, you know, great community, best community uh, I've ever been a part of is in my speedrun journey. So, um, and I think there'll be more Mega Man coming up next. Who's playing think? that game? Uh, I don't know. Some guy. Uh, it'll be uh, some guy in a hat. That's all I know. Hmm. So stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. Thank you.